I'm going to give you some hitting tips for MLB The Show 23. I am what you call a World Series player. I can hit 900 rating and ranked. I'm not a top 50 guy, but I'm also not the worst. My best way of trying to convince you to watch this video is that I'm not... If you look at history, you have players like Ted Williams and Mark McGuire and Barry Bonds. They weren't the best hitting coaches and not the best managers. So having all the talent in the world doesn't necessarily mean you can teach people or have your philosophies work the same way. I'm more of a Jim Leland guy. Never made it out of the minor leagues, but I've won a couple of World Series. Hopefully that convinces you to give this a shot. The first thing I want to tell you to do is to go to sliders in your settings. Every year I played MLB The Show and you practice offline, the ball moves slower than it does online. So what I do is I go to fastball and I crank the pitch speed at least three or four notches. Not only just to account for what comes in as a slower fastball, but also let's say I'm playing on All-Star. I want it to be faster than what it looks like, so I'm seeing beach balls when I actually go online. Practice makes perfect, right? We leave off speed where it is, that's not significant. If anything, if it comes slower offline, let me learn to sit on that. The next thing I'm gonna ask you to do is go to create, roster control. We've already done this, but if you go to roster control here, I put a bunch of pitchers I don't like facing on one team. In this case, we chose the Dodgers. If you look at the rotation here, we have Satchel Page, Bob Gibson, Jacob DeGrom, Corbin Burns, Nolan Ryan, the bullpen I put Roki Sasaki, Bob Feller, and then somewhere down here we got Josh Hader. Oh, also Eric Gagne. So put a bunch of pitchers you're afraid to face, and you put them on one team. Now that we've gotten that part out of the way, I go into custom practice. We're going to set the Dodgers to be the road team, and my favorite team is the Yankees. Let's just use the Yankees as the home team, all right? Choose whatever stadium you're comfortable with. If you have like a creative stadium or something that you, you like playing at and you like that backdrop, that batter's eye, get comfortable with it there. Now you can do batting or team practice. If you go to batting, let me show you this. So we're batting. We're starting off with Labor Torres. They got Satchel Page. You can choose who's batting and who's pitching. You can change the pitch frequency of whatever they throw and you can even change the pitch location. So, you know, that's, a, that's actually really cool. Looking like Tetris up over here. You can also just clear that out whenever you don't like something. Um, you can also individually choose a couple of places you want to go. If there's one, listen, sometimes that high fastball is hard to hit. Sometimes that low breaking ball away is hard to hit. You can really, more than ever, work with what you want to work with. Let's just keep everything neutral for now. You know, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do the up and in fastball. And everyone always wants to know what's the PCI to use, what's the hitting camera to use. This is always up to you. This will always and forever be up to you. It's all about what you're comfortable with. I want you to be comfortable before you even try to get practice down. This is what I use. So I set my PCI anchor to preset and then game. So that way it'll stay that way the whole game. I naturally sit low and I leave the PCI high. So worst case scenario, the pitch goes down in the zone. I kind of let it drop down and help me out. I turn off the dots. I don't like seeing those. PCI plate coverage indicator you should have on. If you don't, you're a madman. Insane. I use the bat PCI. I'm not even comfortable with it yet, but I love it. And I like seeing that visual representation of where I'm swinging the bat. Some people like different things. You're allowed to do that. I don't have an inner or outer PCI. I feel like there's too much going on combined with the bat. Um, I For now, I'm using yellow just so it's easier to see, and I have it at 100% transparency. You can really alter this to your own liking. I encourage you to be comfortable with it. Let's just see what it looks like on Legend. Go to your own comfortable... Go to what you're comfortable with and then speed up the fastballs a little bit. So you see we're sitting low on the anchor, but I hold my PCI high. Let's see what's coming in. That was the cutter. Okay. That was pretty fast. That was really fast. That that looked a lot faster. It's only two miles an hour faster, but damn. Hey, we're just a little early on that. That threw me off for a loop. As you're noticing, I'm kind of moving this around a little bit. Just... Just so I'm keeping it loose, you know? I don't want to jerk down all over the places. I know what I'm doing. We are late. See? Practice. Let's practice. I'm not going to see Legend anytime soon, if ever, but I want to be ready for when I go online. Warm up a little bit, 10, 15 minutes every day before you go into ranked. All right, we're going to need a month to get used to this. Also, I'm doing what you use called a claw grip. Does this help at all? I don't have a camera for that. But uh, this is what we're dealing with here. It's mainly index and thumb. Just trying to get used to this. I got sausage fingers. I don't like just relying on my thumb here. So we got around on. We were just late on that. Holy crap. 
Good timing. We got to fix the PCI a little bit. All right, we're starting to, we're starting to get even just early. So maybe we might put one into the stands. Who knows? Who knows? We might hit it, you know, out of the infield in the air. Well, there you have it. A couple of good swings. I'm also tracking his release point. His arm comes out here. That's where my eye is the whole time here. There you go. We stayed on it. Nice hit. All right, so I reset everything. Everything is all over the place. You don't know what's coming. Put the put the anchor wherever you want. You don't have to use it at all if you want to keep it centered. Like I said, I like to resort to low and sit high. Oh, that was a meatball. We're on top of it. Adjust. There you go. Glaber with some lift. Listen, I'll take just late on Legend with the fastballs cranked almost all the way up. Let's do lefty lefty. Let's use Stanton against Josh Hader. Try to use this to lay off pitches that you have a hard time laying off too. Like for me, I cannot touch Hader's inside slider because he throws it at my ding dong and I still take a big whiff at it. So like just learn to lay off it here too. There you go. Good time hit on 99. Once again, legend cranked up. Go to your liking. I need to get better though. I am competitive. My competitive integrity doesn't match my skill, but we strive. We strive to get better. This is a big strike zone, bro. It took everything in me not to swing at that. All right. We got to work on that. We turned on that. That's good, man. Just made the bat a little more transparent. Hey, there you go. That's just about good enough for a homer for me. Close enough. Oof. Little League Park. All right. So more or less, that's what I that's what I like to do. For me, my settings, strike zone, camera, bat PCI, yellow, eight, between 80 to 100 percent. Put a bunch of pitchers on one team that you don't like to face. Go in, pick the difficulty that you want to play on, and turn fastballs up a little bit in the sliders. It's pretty simple. Just get down to it. You'll get a little better if you keep trying every day. I'll add more hitting tips videos as, you know, the year goes on. I'll keep updating, like, I'll, I'll keep finding ways to update when I get better or if you guys need any help. Always feel free to hit me up on my Twitch streams, on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Follow all those socials. Just let me know how I can help you. Pitching video coming out soon, too. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and sub to the channel if you enjoyed. Until next time, peace out.